as we go through this seminar, I want you to remember something. Remember that uh, you are a spirit, okay? With a soul. And your spirit and soul live inside your body. Okay? When we are talking about your spiritual DNA, we are talking about something that is in your spirit. It is sealed in your spirit. It, like it cannot be taken away from you. Okay? Now, we talk about it so that you become aware of it. How you know what is in your spirit is in the word of God. Because the word of God is a mirror of how you look like in the spirit. The way you stand in front of a mirror and you see how your body looks like. <laughs> some aspects you like, some aspects you don't, but that's who you are. You just have to love it, okay? So, just the way you stand in front of the mirror and you, you see how you look like. Now, when you stand in front of the Word of God, you see how you look like in your spirit man. And I can assure you, in your spirit man, you look great. That is greatness. Ah. Now, your mind, I want you to picture your, your mind as the way when I usually teach this, I use the, 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 the example of a dispenser, a water dispenser. All of us have, you know, been in touch with a water dispenser. You know that, you know, the dispenser is this big thing, it has water inside. There's a small tap. If the tap is not open, uh, the outside will never get access to what is inside the dispenser. Yeah. Now, your mind is like that tap. The more it gets renewed to the realities that are on the inside, the more the tap opens. So that the realities that are on the inside shall be manifested on the outside. Are we together so far? So, we are not talking about something that you are going to get. We are talking about something that you have already got. Ah, ah. Now, this is what I have just said is extremely revolutionary. Eh. We, we are not talking about something you're going to get when you go to heaven or what uh -uh. spiritual dna is something that is given to you the day you become born again the bible says you are recreated in christ jesus eh? ephesians 2 10 it says we were recreated in christ jesus we are Born again. So whoever is in Christ is a new creation. So on the day that I got born again in 1995, I received this spiritual DNA. On the day you got born again, can you write the day? If you remember, if you remember the day or the year, let's have a, a, a brief testimony. We, we, we see when we receive that DNA, you know. Uh, mine was 1995. It was a Sunday. I don't remember the day. You know, there's that song we used to sing. Uh, it was a Monday. It was a what? You know, some people used to stand up when they would say, it was I don't know. Okay, so you may not be knowing, but, uh, you know, just write the year, 1994, 1995. Can you imagine? Even Pastor Isaac was 1995. You know, and God began that work in us that has finally ended us with the pastor in the upper room churches. Uh, 1977, dear Jesus. <laughs> uh, you know, 2005, right there. This is testimony time, 1992. Uh -huh. 
right there at 2010, 2009, 1980, I wasn't born yet, aha, uh -huh, 1995, right, right, <laughs> as this saw me go down the altar, you see, <laughs> 1998, 89, right there, yeah, you know, we are, that is the, the spiritual DNA we are talking about, you received it, the year you're writing, that's when you received it, so the things that we are talking about, they are not the things you're going to receive. Uh -uh. They are things you have already received. Eh? The things you already received. Right, right they are. Eh? Right they are. They are when you are stamped. You are stamped with the seal of the Holy Ghost. 1987. 2000. Eh? My dad was 1987. Hallelujah. Eh? 1998. Right they are, right they are. Right there, so that w w we know if if you're struggling, if you're struggling, you, you, you're not very sure. Uh, after today, you can give your life to Jesus, and after today, you start writing 2024. Uh, hallelujah! Hallelujah! Right, 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 right there, right there, right there. When you gave your life to Jesus, when you gave your life to Jesus. Uh, the <laughs> best uh, Doreen, it's, it's okay, but at least you know that on a certain day, on a certain day, <laughs> Grace would say, now, it was I don't know, somebody touched me, it was I don't know, you know, uh, right there, right there, you know, we are not talking about something that is going to happen uh, when we christ comes back uh -uh. we are talking about something that we have been given hallelujah aren't you glad that jesus came in your life aren't you glad and you know now it's interesting you know <laughs> Do you, do you know that uh, you know, I'm a pediatrician, I deal with babies and children a lot. You know that a baby can be there and they are a girl, but they are not aware that they are a girl. <laughs> oh, so as a boy, they are not aware that, you know. You know, you, you like I can come home in the evening and kids come to. You know, we have taught them that about welcoming us, welcoming visitors, etc. So it's like when they come, they all come to, to give us hugs and all, and all, and uh, our two-year-old <laughs> will suddenly appear naked. <laughs> Very happy, you know. She, <laughs> you know, and uh, she doesn't care who is there. What she, she will all also come from wherever. Ah, uh, naked. You know, she is a girl, but presently she is not aware. But as she grows she will increasingly become aware of who she is then she will behave differently are you getting this <laughs> she will put on things she will she... <laughs> when my daughter got her when, as she grew and grew and then got her room then she put there a note knock before you enter <laughs> you know knock before you enter you know <laughs> are you getting this so just because she's not aware that she's a girl eh? just because my two year old is not aware that she's a girl doesn't mean she is not ah. I, I, I just pray somebody gets what I'm trying to bring up so just because you are not aware of what you have on the inside doesn't mean you don't have it but when you become aware you grow in that knowledge 
then you start manifesting it. Ah. Now, when she suddenly becomes aware, she will not have become a girl at that time. She has been a girl already from conception. It's just that she now has become aware of it. Ah. Some of us, we, there are certain things that we have been, have had on our inside, and we were not aware of. But in this seminar, you are becoming aware of who you are, what you carry. Hallelujah. You're becoming aware of your spiritual DNA. Glory to God. And the more you become aware, and the more you believe in it, that stuff that I told you, it shall open. And then who you are on the inside shall manifest to the outside, shall start affecting your body, shall start affecting your life, shall start affecting other people in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. You know, the scripture says, you know, Christian was praying. Guys, uh, we want to be like Christ. But do you know that actually on the inside, you are like you are exactly like Christ. Yeah. So when we say we want to be like Christ, we are saying our outside. We want our outside to manifest what is on our inside. But on the inside, the Bible says in First John 4 17 that as he is. <laughs> As he is, so are we in this world. Not in heaven, not where, in this world. As he is. As he is. Now, <laughs> this, for me, this revelation changed my life. And I pray that it changes someone's life. When I got this revelation, as he is, so are we. As he is, so are we. It, it, that scripture does not say, so shall we be. So shall we become forever. As he is. Now, why I know that it is talking about my spirit man, it can be talking about our bodies and whatever, our outside, because you know how we all don't look alike and whatever. Sometimes I've been in places and people are talking about how we are created in God's image and, you know, and then some people are saying, all of us, all of us, the way we, all of us here, the way we look like God. And you look in the whole church and you see how people are different and you ask yourself, how does God look? <laughs> you know, how does God look? You just, you know, <laughs> <laughs> God can't be looking like this person, you know. But anyhow, you know, you see people looking different and what? As I was saying, you all look like God. No, it is our spirit man. Hallelujah. It is our spirit man in our spirit as he is. So are we. Hallelujah. In our spirit man. I like the way Andrew Womack, when he's teaching this, he tells us that a third of you is like God. A third of you is exactly like God. Wall to wall. Ah! Hallelujah. We are created. Our spirit man, our, in our spirit, you know, we are alike. All of us in our spirit man, all of us, like Christ, as he is, so are we. Hallelujah. As he is. Now, I want you to know, when I read 1 Corinthians chapter 1, 24, it talks about Christ being love. Same scripture. 1 Corinthians, maybe somebody can open. 1 Corinthians 1, 24. I think in the New International Version, talks about how Christ is love. Eh? It talks about how Christ is wisdom. 
eh? it talks about how Christ is the power of God. Eh? Those whom God has called both uh, Jews and Greeks, Christ is the power of God <laughs> and the wisdom of God. Now connect this with 1 John 4, 17. As he is, so am I. So, in my spirit man, I have the wisdom of God and I have the power of God. Oh yes, in your spiritual DNA is the wisdom of God and is the power of God. Ah, as he is. He is the wisdom of God. He is the power of God in my spirit man. So, when I get this, the rest of my life, hmm, when we are praying and we are talking about Colossians 2, 6, 7, being rooted in him, being built up in him, we want to be rooted in the power of God, rooted in the wisdom of God, built up in the power of God, built up in the wisdom of God. The more I believe it, the more I renew my mind to it, the rest of my life is now to bring this to the outside. Eh? It's on my inside, but the struggle is to bring it to the outside. The struggle is to manifest it. Ah, is to, is to release it. My assignment is to release it because the world outside there, they need the wisdom of God. Even me, I need the wisdom of God. The world outside there, they need the power of God. So when we're having the healing services, when we're having the healing station, the night of wonders, what, what is happening is that I am, I am trying to get what is on my out, on my inside, to bring it on the outside. I'm trying to get people to drink of what I carry on the inside. And why we have a heavy anointing when we gather together is that we have a concentration of the wisdom of God. We have a concentration of the power of God. You know, we gather and the, the wisdom of God, you know, the power of God in each one of us is now gathered in the same place. The anointing. Ah! The anointing that is there. Where is Are you with me? Is this making sense? As he is. Ah. So am I. He is righteous. Did you know that? He is righteous. That God made him my righteousness. He is righteous. You know 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 30. It talks about that God has made him our wisdom, our righteousness, our consecration, our holiness. He's righteous, he's holy, he's... Eh. And as he is, so am I. My spirit man, in my DNA, I'm righteous. I've been put right with God. I, as God looks at me and it's as though I have never seen. Wow. Yes, it is the truth. It's the truth. It's from him that you are in Christ Jesus who has become our wisdom of God. That is <laughs> our righteousness, our holiness, our redemption. That's DNA stuff, my friend. As he is, so are you. In your spirit man, in my spirit man, I am righteous. Now, this that is in my spirit man affects my outside. So, I don't give a bribe. I don't take a bribe because I am trying to manifest what is on my inside. I don't fornicate. I don't commit adultery. I don't want, because I am trying to manifest what is on my inside. I speak the truth. I don't tell lies. I try to be honest and integral because I want my outside to reflect what is on my inside. So I live my Christianity from the inside out. Are you getting this? 
understand. When you get this, your Christianity will stop being a struggle. Trying to, trying to, is God happy with me? Ah, he's happy. He's happy with you. God is very happy with me. <laughs> Do you know that God spoke about Jesus when he was being baptized? He says, this is my son in whom I am well pleased. He hadn't, he, hadn't, he hadn't healed any flu. He hadn't done anything. God was pleased with him. They start off with God being pleased with him. Every other thing that he's doing, he's not doing it to please God. He's doing it because God is pleased with him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you getting this? As it is. So am I. So, that is my spiritual DNA. I become aware of it. Okay? And now I start to live with that awareness. I start to live with the manifestation. My Christian life is a continuous, continuous quest to manifest who I am on the inside. Who I am on the inside. Yeah. And uh, if it is not happening perfectly it's okay inside it's perfect <laughs> my god if it's not happening perfectly on the outside it's okay inside it's perfect on the outside god is working it out pola and pola. we are coming we, we we are manifesting slowly 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 the, we are being manifested slowly but surely we are being manifested so i i, I don't beat myself you know, if I don't do it perfectly, if I, I don't beat myself, if I pray for somebody, they don't get healed, I don't beat myself, you know, God is not hard. No, no, on the inside, there is the power of God. So I, I have to, 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 to work, to, to pray, I have to, to go and study, you know, the, the whole thing is, how do I release this? It's there. Hundred percent on my inside, it's there. So uh, I am studying, I am praying, I am fasting, I'm doing what so that I eliminate the flesh, I eliminate the unbelief, you know, everything, so that what is a hundred percent on my inside can be a hundred percent on the outside. Ah, oh yes, I'm getting this. You know, there is a time we would we would pray uh, for people and. You know, like, you just tell them, yeah, you, you are okay. Yeah, it's going to happen. It's a process. <laughs> it's a process. In fact, before that, uh, before that, we, we wouldn't even call them forward to, to pray for them. We would just say, all of you, yeah, you're going to be okay. Because we are not sure. We didn't have the awareness. What we carry. Now we have the awareness. The awareness gives us the courage to call people forward for prayer. But at a certain point, you'd, we have that awareness, but we are still being perfected in that awareness. So even after praying for them, we wouldn't ask them to check themselves whether they are okay or not, because we are not very sure. The awareness, we are still growing in it. A hundred percent on the inside, ten percent on the outside. Hundred percent on the inside, twenty percent on the outside. But the percentage is increasing. Ah, I want to assure you, I want to encourage you, the percentage on the outside is increasing. But inside, it's a hundred percent. 100% power of God, 100% wisdom of God, 100% righteousness, 100% holiness. Ah. Oh, yes. And then we started, you know, increasing in the awareness. <laughs> and then we developed the courage to say, Ah, is it? Do you feel okay? Is it much better? Say, Yeah, I feel a bit better, you know. <laughs> then, uh, we develop more courage to ask, are you okay? You know? And then started saying it has gone. It 
which has gone, then we realize, hey, hey, what I have on my inside is beginning to manifest on the outside. Hallelujah. It is every, it, I want you to see every day as your day of manifestation. Bible says creation. Eh? Creation longs. Creation waits with eagerness for the manifestation of the true sons of God. We, every day is your manifestation day. <laughs> ah, it's your manifestation day. There is somebody that you are on your inside. There is a great man that is on the inside. There is a great woman that is on the inside. So forget your brokenness. Forget your... <laughs> On the inside, ah, you are rich, very rich. But that that rich, those that what is inside you 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 need. That's why you go to church. That's why you are attending this seminar. That's why you read books and whatever. Because we want to open the tap so that what is on the inside becomes manifested on the outside. Hallelujah! Every day. Your manifestation, the creation, the Bible says, creation longs for the manifestation of the true sons of God. I say you're going to manifest. I say you are manifesting in the name of Jesus. I decree, I declare you are manifesting. You, you, as you become aware of these realities, as you become increasingly aware of these realities, you manifest them. You begin to speak. You know, have you ever been speaking in a meeting and uh, suddenly you realize that this is not me. I'm not this wise. I'm not this intelligent. You realize that you have switched into another wisdom. There's another wisdom that is coming out of it. Has it ever happened to you? You know, you're, you're, you're speaking and you, you, you know, People are so impressed with what you have said. Even you are impressed with what you have said, but you are sure it is not you. <laughs> it is inside stuff. Inside stuff. Inside stuff. Ah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then when you get these things, you, you, you actually are, are humbled. You are humbled. You don't go around saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. I expected it, yeah, 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 you know, <laughs> you know that finally God has helped you and what is on the inside has come to manifest on the outside, hallelujah, hallelujah, the whole creation, Uganda is waiting for your manifestation, Germany is waiting for your manifestation. Rwanda is waiting for your manifestation. The whole of the creation, birds, trees, what? They are waiting. The whole creation, goats, what? Waiting for your manifestation. Yeah. Consider it your personal assignment moving forward to manifest the life on the inside. Consider it your personal assignment to manifest your DNA to the outside. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Have you been blessed by that one? I, I think I was blessed by that one. Glory to Jesus. <laughs>